good morning. Let's take a look here. Um, what is property tax? Well, property tax is a tax you have to pay on the value of your property. So it's a tax. You pay it once a year. It starts in November, and they give you a few months to pay it. The earlier you pay it, the less you pay. So if you get your bill and you pay it right away, you save money. Okay? If you fail to pay your property tax, the county repos your house and sells it at auction. So it's a tax on your property. value. Okay, remember I had you go to Zillow last night? Raise your hand if you went to Zillow. All right, head of household, that's someone who takes care of people. It could be taking care of um, maybe um, a niece's child or a granddaughter or a mother and father. Okay, so head of household. Okay. All right, let's go on. Today, I want to look at example two one more time. And to do that, I want you to open up your book the page where it's at. Okay, so here it is, and I'm on page 334. So turn to page 334. I want to go over this one more time. Okay, so if you look here, this person makes a hundred and a little less than 154,000 together combined in. So 154000 would be in this range here. It would be less than that. So you're going to pay $9,086 plus 22% of the difference or the amount over that. Okay? So you're going to take your income right here minus the amount that's given here, and then you're going to multiply by 0 0.22 and add it. To the 9,000. So look at what they did. They took the 9,086 right here, plus they took the amount that you make together minus whatever's in that table, and they'll tell you that. And whatever the difference is, you multiply that by 0.22. So in other words, you don't multiply 0.22 times the whole income. It's the difference between whatever they tell you. Now, how did they come up with these numbers? You know. So their tax is 25000 Okay? I want you to finish 6.1. And when you're done, I want you to read 6.2. All right, let's turn our attention now to seventh period. Okay, so this is a step function right here. Let's go over the definition of a step function. So f of x, which is really like y. So f of x equals the step function of this. And we're just going to say x for now until we do the definition. So it's going to be x is less than or equal to the greatest integer. Okay, write that down. So let's evaluate these. When you put negative 2 in here, you get negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. And so the greatest integer is 1. Okay, so if it's already an integer, then it's going to be 1. If you put a half in here, then you add it to the 3, you get 3 and a half. So you always round down 
to the greatest integer. So this would be 3. This one is 4.2, and you round down to the greatest integer, which would be 4. And that's how you do that. This one right here is 21.6, a negative. So you've got to be careful with the negative. So here's negative 21, and negative 21.6, negative 22 is here, and you always round to the left. So you're going to say negative 22. Be careful with that. Remember, you always round to the left. Okay? All right, here's your assignment for today. We're going to watch a video on the cubic functions, how they look graphically, the square root function. All right? And uh, there's one other one that I'm going to show you as well as in the book. So here's your assignment when we're done with that. Okay? Have a good morning.